morning, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to try another one of these Bodek uh, spicy chicken flavored ramen. This one is curry, so this should be pretty good. Monkey picked this one out for me to try today. I have several in there that were sent to me, um, naturally and artificially flavored. Stir fried ramen. So we get to, we get to use the wok again. So let's open this up and let's check this out. See how well it is. Okay guys, so I will give you, I'll put the ingredients here up for you. In case you want to pause and read that. The nutrition facts, not ingredients, whatever. You know what I mean, right? Hopefully. Okay. Uh, quickly, uh, the instructions are very easy. Put the noodles and flakes into 20 ounces of boiling water and cook for five minutes. I've got water over here getting ready to boil. Um, it says, please remove the water. This is after the five minutes. Please remove the water. Remain eight tablespoons of water and put liquid sauce into noodles. Stir fry for 30 seconds and you stir them well. That eight tablespoons is just a little over a third a cup, which I just go ahead and I just always just have my um, my my third a cup of water ready there for you or me whatever. But um, so yeah, this one looks looks pretty good. Again, there's the picture. Let's make a thumbnail here. This will be the thumbnail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead get the water. Um, it's on, but I'm going to wait. When the water gets boiling, then I'll go ahead and we'll dump these in. And then we'll get the wok ready. Um, got my little bowl here. My sriracha bowl monkey got me for Christmas. Uh, I got these here for aesthetics. Like I said, I can't use them anymore because of my, uh, I have no feeling. I don't know how hard I'm holding something. It's like you ever wake up from sleep and your hand is kind of numb. That's what I feel like all the time. So I can do this, but I can't like pick stuff up because it crosses and I can't, you know what I mean? But that's how you're supposed to hold them like this. And, and you got to hold it tight with your thumb, the bottom one tight with your thumb like this. But I actually Googled that to see um, if I was doing something wrong and I wasn't. I was doing it right, but it's just I can't, I don't have the feeling anymore. So anyway, that's topics we've covered before. So uh, as soon as the water boils, we're going to throw this in there with the flakes. We're going to let it boil for five minutes and we're going to get to use the wok. Love my walk. Okay, guys, let's do this. Okay, let's go ahead and put our noodles in. These are folded over. Nice square. Sometimes they're round. These are folded over, so they're kind of long. Um, I'm going to put those in here. Dump that in there. And we add our flakes, which this is our flakes here. It's just dried um, vegetables. And there's not much air, but you can really smell that. And it probably flavors the water. That's probably why they want you to use this water. You can, but I got some water here. Like I said, it's about a, just a little over a third a cup. So let's set a timer for five minutes. And then we'll come back once the wok is heated up. Okay, guys, your wok's ready when you start seeing a little bit of smoke. So we're going to put our noodles in. And our water in. Now we're going to put our sauce in. Like I said, they want you to use eight tablespoons of the water that came out of it, but I've done it both ways. I couldn't tell a difference at all. So, like I said, I just get, you know. 
stir fry it for about 30 seconds. I'm not sure how long 30 seconds is, but we can do this. We can do our kitchen timer. I usually go until it thickens up a little bit. Here's about 30 seconds. Okay, my timer wouldn't shut off. Alright, now I'm gonna take it from the heat. I'm gonna pour it in my bowl and I'll meet you back over here on the bar. Something real quick about this wok. It's a breeze to clean up. Uh, same way with all my cast iron. A lot of people don't use it because they, they think it's intimidating. They think you gotta you, you gotta uh, season it every time you use it that's not true all I did with this was just rinsed it out with hot water took a sponge rinsed it out most guys will tell you use soap and water well when you use soap yes it's going to take some of your seasoning out it's going to take that oil off of there I don't do that I just a little hair in there what I do is I just rinse it out like I said with water hot water and a sponge I set it back on the burner that it came off of because it's still warm and I let it dry out once I dry it out I just give it another light coat of oil stick it back on the burner because this burner will stay hot for a while boom that's it I do it with all my cast iron I season them re-season them about twice a year so I, I mean as you can see it's 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 perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with that all right let's get to our soup okay so I gotta do this part again because I was talking to you for a minute and didn't even, uh, I wasn't recording. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And this smells fantastic. I can't wait to try this curry one. Um, let me try this again. I just can't. See, it twists on me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, of course I'm going to use my fork, but... Alright, now, move this out of the way. Like I said, these ones are, are really long. You can break them up. Um, like the 8 ounce, the 8 tablespoons of water, you know, that's just, you know, an estimate. Um, like, if, if I would make this just for my lunch, without filming... I probably wouldn't even really measure it. I'd just pour a little bit in there, maybe some soy sauce. But since the, the instructions say to do this, and you know, this may be someone's first time watching this, I don't want to steer them wrong, and I don't want them to go, well, you know, you didn't like it because maybe you put something in that you wasn't supposed to, which is true. So when I'm trying something for the first time, I always do exactly what they recommend, you know. And then after that, once, you know, if it's good enough and I buy it again, which there is a lot of stuff I do that with, um, I will go ahead and just, you know, you can guesstimate that, but something sticky on my arm. All right, so let me get you pointed up here. We're going to give this a shot. Man, this smells fantastic, guys. Let me bring you out a little bit. I had you zoomed in because of the, I had you up there on the stove, or not on the stove, but, Okay. And these, I don't know how Monkey gets these things clean. Whenever I use something wooden, it's stained. These are the very first set I used. I still got two more sets over there I haven't opened. And you saw how clean they were at the beginning. So, I don't know how she does it. Wooden spoons, she gets them clean. I, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, here we go. It's still a little hot. There's what it looks like. Mm. Okay. 
I think, I think we may have a winner here. <laughs> well, to me, they're all winners because so far, all these bull decks, there haven't been any I haven't liked. There's some heat here. There's some spice. But they're supposed to be because it's spicy chicken. If you can't handle spices, you're probably not going to like any of these. But I like a lot of spice and I like a lot of heat. So, you know, um, anyway, um, I've never, you know, there hasn't been any of these that I haven't liked yet. Just some that I've liked more than others. You know, I, I would eat, you know, I would buy them and eat them. You know, a quick lunch. I like stir frying. It's only 30 seconds. I mean, you know, if I need a really, really quick lunch, I'll make a sandwich. But when I got a few minutes, you know, I like to make my noodles and sit and, and they're hearty and they hold me over till supper. I see Monkey's got pork chops out for supper. So now let's give this another bite. Sorry if you're hearing any chewing noises. I don't like that either, guys. So don't feel bad. Yes, this is not overwhelming on the spice. It's there. The heat's there. I can feel it starting on my forehead to sweat a little. Oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups a little bit. To me, it's not overwhelming. It's there, though. In, excuse me. It, it does, you can taste, it's curry. Got the hiccups. It's curry. Um, sometimes I can, I can eat something really hot and not get the hiccups. Or sometimes I'll get the hiccups. Especially if it's really hot. But this is not really super hot. It's just, uh, it is spicy. But it's, it's a good spicy. If you like spicy, I would recommend it. This is um, 4.94 ounces, which is 140 grams. So does have a it does have a Best Buy date. These things last forever. Well, maybe not 100 years. I don't know, but I've ate them when they were like two and three years out of date. That's not these exact ones, but ramen. You know, I mean. Um, this one is 815 of 2022, so yeah. Alright, there it is again, guys. One more look at it. I'm gonna eat my lunch. It's a it's a late lunch. Uh it's not going on 2.30. Uh monkey had to take her mom to the doctor. You know what I was talking about last night when when I can't film out here. And monkey said mom was sleeping on the couch well she don't sleep there guys she has her own room okay let's i didn't want people thinking oh they make her sleep on the couch no she has her own room she has a bed she has her tv cable tv and her books and everything in her own room it's just sometimes she'll come out and start playing her game on her phone keeps keeps her occupied and she likes it and and she'll fall asleep and then she's over here snoring <laughs> real loud and uh <laughs> <coughs> And it's kind of hard to film like that. So, uh, a lot of times, you know, she'll ask me, you know, you, you going to do any film and I'll, I'll go in my room for a while. But um, sometimes, you know, she'll fall asleep and she'll she'll be like, why didn't you just wake me and tell me to move? I hate waking people up. I, I don't like that. I don't know, just something about it. Um, a monkey asked me one day, did you make your suit video? I'm like, no, I'm all sleeping on the couch. I sent her a video clip and she was snoring real loud. And she tried to call her, but I think her phone was dead or something. To ask her to move, I'm like, don't worry about it. It's all right. Okay, so anyway, love you, Mom. Anyway, um, yes, two thumbs up. I'm, I'm giving this... I'm going whole hog on this one. This is five star for me. Flavor, the heat, uh, the spices, and the ease of, of, of doing this. I mean, it's ramen. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to measure out 20 ounces of water. Just put some water in a pan, you know, bring it to boil, boil them, you know, just pour a little bit of water in a stir fry. I mean, I, I really don't think you'd have to stir fry, but since I have a wok, 
I'm going to be stir fry. <laughs> if it says stir fry, I'm going to do that. You probably don't have to. I mean, um, I just I just like doing that stuff. I like cooking, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 two thumbs up and five star. So all right, guys, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey's Monkey One Thousands channel. She's just uploaded a, a great video today of a project she started on yesterday. And she finished it up today, so please check that out, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.